Today, we're going to fly with the Philips 66 Aerostar team, and they're going to attempt to ring my doorbell. Let's get this started. And we are flying with the Philips Aerostar 66 team. I'd like to welcome all you guys on board. Jerry, thanks for having us on board. Uh, what are we going to be doing today? Absolutely. Welcome aboard. This is the Philips 66 Aerostar's formation aerobatic team, uh, which is going to entail uh, formation takeoff, which will be very graphic because we're, we're in the number four airplane, which is slot and solo. It's the, it's the most fun part of the, uh, the team, actually. And it's the uh, best for media rides because you get to see everything. But I heard you got a little extra special treat for me today. That's right. <laughs> we'll uh, break off from the formation after the second maneuver, and we'll go just have a little fun on our own. Nine decimal six, go. All right. Four. It looks like a beautiful day to fly. I'm oh, really... it's just, it's absolutely great. It's cloudless, and above a little bit of a 1,000 or 2,000 feet, it gets nice and smooth for so that should be good, too. And your full-time job, you're a United Airlines pilot, correct? I am. I fly uh, 777s for United out of Chicago and uh, Line Check Airmen. Now, right. for this formation takeoff, we're in the, the uh, fingertip, the most outward one along the right side of the runway. This is a 150-foot wide runway. That's the minimum width that will do a fingertip takeoff. So 150 is the minimum for the width of a runway. Correct. I see you do your S turns when you're taxiing so you can see out the window. Yep, huh? yep that's right. It's standard pretty much in, in a lot of tailwheel airplanes, uh, especially the biplanes or the Sukhoi. I used to fly the uh, Sukhoi uh, back in the day, and that airplane you really have to S turn because yeah, you don't see in front of you at all. Not a lot of visibility out the front. No, the extra's pretty easy actually. And this airplane is uh, extra 330LX. Connor Jet 120, call Echo, runway 3, fly the runway heading, clear for takeoff which is 100 pounds lighter than the other airplanes and with 15 more horsepower. So you got a lot of power to uh, do your maneuvers. That, that's right, yeah. It's, and it's lighter, so it has a little better vertical than the other guys. Extra flight 94 Tango Whiskey up to Roger, runway three, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway three, and it'll be a four ship formation takeoff. Gotcha. All right, so we got our line up and wait clearance. Fuel check, two, three, four. You see, there's a lot of little uh, inter-team communication uh, that goes on, and uh, it's all uh, Harvey, who the boss is call sign, and he uh, he's our boss. He uh, he kind of narrates, and uh, he's like the head of the orchestra. Maestro. Next flight nine four ten whiskey runway three maintain VFR uh, to the north winds are three five zero at niner one five. All right, it looks like we're all set. Perfect takeoff niner four tango whiskey VFR north. Run them up. You'll like this. Gonna be running them up. All right, here we go, guys. This is gonna be good. Break, break, go. Here we go, all at the same time. The tail's coming up. You can see it's a little tight on this side of the runway. Oh, yeah. It's I a little bit easier for me to get into the air first so I don't hit nothing. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> wow, this, this is really cool. And then once we get up a little bit, then we're going to slide on over here. Straight into the slot. Wow. Man, this never gets old flying in formation. Yep. Especially this close. This is amazing. What a beautiful day to fly. Oh, it's great. 
that Paul over there off my left uh, left wing. Yep. I used to fly with him at one of my first jobs. Your kid. Corporate jobs. No kid. In a hawker? I flew the turboprops, he flew in the jets. Huh? But we're at the same company. I'll be darned. And you're just fixating on a certain reference point, correct? I, I am. I am. It's just my home right here. Are you looking at the guy in front of us? Yes. I'm adjusting my prop right now, so that's why I backed off a little bit. We'll be switching frequency to Team Discrete here in just a little bit. Okay. And for that, I have to back off just slightly because I have to take my eye off it for a brief second. I'm all pre-dialed on the uh, the radio frequency, so it'll just be a, a tip of the button there. Yeah, 9 to 4, single whiskey, like to switch freaks uh, out to 6 to 8 miles. I'll call you back in about 5 minutes. Make sure flight 4, tango whiskey, roger, frequency change is approved. All right, we've got our frequency change. Three, go. Zero star check. Four. Everybody checked in? Yep. I mean, being an airline pilot's really cool, but this is like uh, the rock stars of aviation. Yeah, it's just a, a fun relief. Uh, you know, different kind of flying than, than airline flying. Just a lot more fun. Oh, for sure. But it, it's kind of it's kind of nice uh, just to, you know, your pencil a little bit sharp, but a little bit different flying, and it, it kind of helps uh, in all your flying, really. That keeps your stick and rudder skills sharp. Yeah, exactly. Climbing out at 120 knots. But I guess you don't even look at that. You're just focusing on your other... Exactly. All ready? Four. All right, here we go. Loop and a barrel. We're going to... Now we're pushing down. You see Harvey pushing down. Yeah, pushing down. Wow. Gain our speed. Yep, gain our speed. Ray about 180, you guys pull? About 200. About 200. Two there it is. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Man, this is awesome. Look at that sky. Look at the ground coming up into a view. Nothing better than that. Yeah. Good job. Cool. Now we're going into a barrel roll. Four ship formation. Hold it nice and tight. Wow, look at that. Okay, number four is breaking off. All right, see you later, boys. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Okay. That's what it's all about right there. That is awesome. I'm just going to get him in sight, and we're going to go up and pull vertical. Okay. Going to do a go vertical. That sounds fun. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Whoa. My goodness. Door bell is getting wrong. Going into a tumble. The doorbell on the play that much. Yeah. Okay, now we'll do the tumble. Oh, this is the tumble. I thought that was the tumble. Yes! <laughs> Man, alert! The G forces are crazy negative. Woo! I love it. That was awesome. You done, Jer? I'm done. Where you at? Right here. Uh -oh. 180. Smoke will be on. Good job, Jerry! Okay, that was amazing! Cool, it never gets old. 3,500. Nothing like getting the blood flowing through your body every which way. <laughs> oh, they got smoke on, huh? You see him? Yeah, right out there. Where? That's right out there in front of us. Ah, I got him. They got a trail and some smoke for us, I guess, so we can pick him up a little easier. Got, him, sure. got you inside, thank you. Smoke oh, off. So we did a, uh, we tumbled it. Whoa. Yeah, look at this. We're going to rejoin with them here. Upside down. We're giving the farmers quite a show down there. There they are out here in front of us. Oh, it's hard to find, isn't it? That was amazing, Jerry. You can see right here up in front of us, we're going to rejoin the formation. Let's 
Singapore is in. Yeah, Lake Winnebago out there in front of us. Four. Green Bay departure will see it. Fingertip formation, correct? Alright. The flight of four extras, they're uh, two and a half miles to the northwest, 2,000 feet. Uh, they'll be entering, uh, they're heading southbound, they'll be uh, inbound for the overhead to runway three. Uh, so for now, on runway three zero, maintain VFR to the north and uh, clear for takeoff. I'll keep calling that traffic for you. No problem, don't say if they're takeoff, we'll keep an eye out, thanks. Extra flight four, ping the whisk up, traffic departing runway three zero, looking for you. He'll be uh, VFR northbound. I'm going to keep him uh, north of your track. Copy that. Uh, traffic in sight. All right. At the airport. Basically on a left downwind right now. Yep. How many G's did we pull? Negative and uh, positive. Uh, probably uh, plus six, uh, minus four. What? Minus four? Wow, that's my new record for minus. Just, just for a little peek there. Just the airplane, let's go. Okay, cool. Well, that's my new record. Where is the negative? And Uniform Delta India, you can uh, disregard that right turn to the north. You can maintain VFR to the northwest now. And uh, I'll uh, give you a switch here in a few miles. Great, thanks, Mike. Uniform Delta India. Are we doing like an overhead break? We are. Oh, okay, cool. So we're basically on like a left base turn in the final to line up with the runway. Yeah, we're taking a whiskey flight as we're rolling initial runway three. Next flight 94 Tango Whiskey, Roger. And we'll give you overhead break. Runway uh, 30, though, so it'll be a right break. Right break at your discretion, runway 3, clear to land. Okay, right break, traffic in sight, clear to land, 94 Tango Whiskey flight. Now we're just switching over to the other side. Yep. The left, whatever you need there. So we can do the right break. So the right we'll be the last one to break. Yep. Appleton Tower. There we go. 9 Romeo, inbound for 30. And there's a 7369 Romeo Avatar Rutcher. Uh, uh, three miles straight in. This is amazing. Three zero. Power, he's been doing a uh, left break. Three miles. Well, there goes Harvey. Uh, Paul, he's on right base. Dave will go here in a second. You're just keeping your spacing with the, the guys up front here. Yep. And Romeo, uh, you can disregard that uh, three mile base call for uh, runway three zero. Now clear to land, hold. What kind of approach three. speed and uh, are you looking at for uh, clear to land? Uh, land. hundred initially, land, hold, and if Romeo. we're trying to really get into a, um, we try to get into a short strip. I'll slow it up to uh, ninety. If I'm by myself and it's light, I can go to eighty five or so. And there's no flaps on this airplane, so no flaps. Yeah. Okay, we see lead rolling out. He's going to be turning at yeah, that next taxiway. All right. We see number two just touching down. Number three is just coming up on the approach lights. And what we do, as soon as we get down in the ground, uh, to go to the dead side of the runway, which we call the turnoff side of the runway, that leaves the whole left side open for us. You keep it in a little bit of a slip so you can see. I do. I want to see, make sure it goes to the dead side of the runway. He's already got doing it. East of the field right now, uh, just coming up on the lake. Okay, I got you uh, now. Yep. Okay. Uh, just, uh, Notice also, I keep it a little bit high on approach. Uh, it would be a shame to be this close here. to an airport uh, and not land on a runway. Uh, that's true. Mile Street, final for runway three zero. He'll be showing up uh, uh, off your left wing here shortly. Hey, you like me to stay up to the north? We have just north of final there until we get the traffic in sight there. Nice, good. I can tell you you're a, a pretty good pilot there. It's not your first rodeo. Yeah, yeah. Taking, uh, correction for taking a whiskey flight. Uh, nice landing. Uh, you can just uh, monitor the ground on the way to the ramp. A little bit different than a 777. That airplane is a nice airplane. Well, thanks, Jerry, for having oh, us all on gosh. board. Kilo Delta My Apple pleasure. Roger report the uh, five mile straight. If you guys like these videos, please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, thanks for riding along with us. That was quite a fun uh, pulling all those G's, ringing the doorbell. And uh, we'll talk to you guys someday soon. Really cool. Thanks, everybody. Probably Yankee.